Vacation is over and today we are diagnosing interstitial cystitis. Most of the time this is a clinical diagnosis, meaning we just go based on symptoms. If you have bladder pain, pressure, the constant feeling like you need to pee or you don't empty your bladder, painful bladder to the touch, you have to undo your pants. We check urine cultures, including a PCR culture that detects bacterial DNA in the urine. If that comes back negative and you don't have an infection, then we classify you as possibly having interstitial cystitis and we treat you as such. So we start with behavioral modifications, monitoring your diet, stress management. When that doesn't work, we can try oral medications, over-the-counter treatments, and sometimes we move on to procedures. And today we did a hydro distension and a urethral dilation. These procedures can be therapeutic, meaning you may feel better after the procedure, the pain may subside, your symptoms will get better, but it can also be diagnostic. And let me show you what I'm talking about. After stretching her bladder with a liter of saline and holding it for five minutes, we emptied the bladder and this is what it looked like. She has what's called waterfall bleeding and petechiae. These can be diagnostic signs of interstitial cystitis. This patient didn't have this, but you can also see ulcers or Hunter's ulcers, and that can be indicative of IC. This particular patient was very happy to see that she had those signs because it made her feel like her symptoms were validated, like there's an actual reason for her feeling pain in her bladder all the time. If this is you, you may want to talk to your doctor about doing a procedure like this.